Disneyland is known for keeping their parks extremely safe and running them like clockwork, with all gears turning on time. Workers have to spend hours checking the safety of their rides every day, and all in all, Disneyland is a safe place to visit if you follow their rules and regulations. Rules and regulations aren't there to be a buzzkill when it comes to any theme park. They are there to keep you as safe as possible. The following video details avoidable deaths that have happened at Disneyland over the years due to the disregard of safety and some general stupidity. The cases I have covered on my channel will not be mentioned, but if you haven't caught up on my Death at Disneyland series, please go back and give them a watch. The first death that happened at Disneyland occurred in May 1964 when Mark Maples, a 15 year old Long Beach Californian resident, attempted to stand up whilst riding the Matterhorn bobsled. As the bobsled approached the mountain top, Mark unbuckled his seat and attempted to stand up. Maples lost his balance and was flung from the sled to the track below, breaking his skull and ribs, which caused internal injuries. According to Maple's father, after the ride, the boys' claims that their companion had fallen out were not believed by the ride operators. The ride was shut down only after two girls in the car behind them confirmed that Mark had fallen from the ride. There has, however, been speculation about this incident. The boys who were with Mark were accused of hazing him into taking his belt off. They claimed that this never happened and were unsure of how Mark's seatbelt came undone. Mark survived the initial fall but died three days later in hospital. The Anaheim police chief ruled Maple's death was purely accidental. Sadly, some people did not learn from Mark's infamous death. Two years after, in 1966, Thomas Guy Cleveland, a 19 year old from Northridge, California, was killed while attempting to sneak into Disneyland from the monorail trap. He managed to climb the 16 foot fence and climbed onto the track. A security guard then noticed Thomas and screamed at him to get down as the monorail was approaching. Thomas either ignored or didn't hear the security guard and was then struck by the monorail, which dragged him 40 feet down the track. Thomas died on the spot. This brings us to August 1967, when 16-year-old Ricky Lee Yama from Hawthorne, California was visiting Disneyland and decided to disregard the safety rules whilst riding the People Mover. Ricky exited his car as it passed through the tunnel, intending to jump into another one. As Ricky jumped to the other car, he slipped and was crushed to death under the wheels of the oncoming car. On June the 22nd, 1973, 18-year-old Bogdan Delarute and his 10-year-old brother, Dorian, were visiting Disneyland with their family from Brooklyn, New York. The brothers opted to stay on the Tom Sawyer Island as it was about to close for the day. Bogdan and Dorian jumped a fence and hid in the woods behind the burning settler's cabin as park staff ushered guests aboard boats to return to the park. The brothers decided to leave the island at around 9.30pm and go to the main park. They decided to swim across the rivers of America rather than ask for aid since they didn't want to get themselves into trouble. This wasn't the smartest of ideas as Dorian couldn't swim so he decided to go on Bogdan's back. Bogdan drowned halfway across. His little brother was saved by a ride operator who spotted him doggy paddling in the water. Bogdan's body was recovered the next morning. Much like Ricky Yama before him, Gerardo Gonzalez, a graduate from San Diego High School, met his fate on the People's Mover on June the 7th, 1980. Gerardo was climbing from car to car when he stumbled and fell onto the track. As he fell, he was hit by an oncoming car which crushed him between the wheels and dragged him a few hundred feet until the ride operator finally shut off the ride. Three years later, more graduates were celebrating their graduation. It was the 4th of June, 1983, when Philip Strawhan, 
who was 18 years old, and his friends snuck into the cast members only section along by the river where they untied an inflatable motorboat and took it for a joyride. The group had been heavily drinking and were unable to control the boat. They hit a rock near Tom Sawyer Island where Philip was thrown into the waters. At this point, the group couldn't see Philip and decided to go and get help. Help arrived, but it was already too late. Philip drowned an hour before his body was finally recovered. Despite the fact that we identify Disneyland as the happiest place on earth, with good, wholesome family fun in a safe environment far away from death, accidents do occur. In fact, they happen rather regularly. This video is a reminder if you do go to Disneyland, or any theme park for that matter of fact, follow the rules, or you may be on a future list.